I'm personally, I'm paying everything out of pocket, so <laughs> it's kind of crazy coming in and coming in for the appointment, but that's really convenient for a lot of women. Pamela Oliveira says she would be very interested in purchasing a birth control pill over the counter, but she has one big question. Do you know how much on average it would cost? That is still unknown. But what we do know, the O-Pill will be sold over the counter, removing barriers for women who don't have insurance or access to a doctor. Michelle Casada is now the vice president of communications for Planned Parenthood of Southeast and North Florida. She calls this a historic moment for health equity. We know that half of all pregnancies are unintended, and the main barrier to contraception use is access to health care, which is making an appointment with the doctor and then getting a prescription for birth control. The O-Pill is known as the mini pill, and it only contains progestin. Doctors caution this pill may not be right for everyone, and it's important to know your medical history, possible side effects, and how to take it properly. The progestin-only based pills typically have a lower effectiveness than other methods. Most methods have a 99% effectiveness where less than one person will get pregnant each year. Progestin-only pills actually have an effectiveness level of 93%. So it is very important to make sure that you take your pills on time. Pharmacist Hayden Collier at Progress Pharmacy also says he's glad to see the option become available, but knows it's not a one-size-fits-all. So there'll have to be great education on someone who is getting it, the pharmacist, make sure that they ask questions, what to expect, um, and if they are having these side effects, you know, what you know, how they can either manage them or how they may need to switch to you know see a doctor to switch to something different. We still don't know exactly when the pill will be on the market, but it's expected by the end of March 2024. In West Palm Beach, Stephanie Suskind, WPTV News Channel 5.